This is a, uh, a Pharaonic cemetery, or well, some of them. It's a cemetery Pharaonic, Patus. A uh, Pharaonenfriedhof in Altkirch, in France, in Alsace. Here we can even see the uh, oh, excuse me, the Sun hieroglyph here. There it is. Uh, the obelisk here. There's obelisk. Some obelisks there. And one here. Now this is the joining, l'alliance, das Bündnis. Là. And one here, it's full of it, eh? In a little town in France where they uh, used to speak German, well, they still do, in Alsace. And the obelisk is the symbol of the pharaonic domination. It's only a pharaoh who is entitled to put an obelisk on his grave. Il y a seulement une, une pharaon qui, euh, qui a le droit de monter un obélisque sur, son, euh, to, sur sa tombe. Nur ein pharaon darf ein obélisque auf sein, auf sein Grab setzen. So this is real pharaonic, many obélisques here in Altkirch. Il y a beaucoup, il y a beaucoup obélisques chez le pharaon. Et hier too. Uh, so we're still in uh, Altkirch, it means the old, the old church, well there it is probably, the old church. I don't know how old it is. Oh, this one looks pretty old there. An old obelisk. Uh, not entirely. Different, yeah oh, well, okay. Well here's quite a lot. Ja, 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 pas mal, hein. Cimetière de Pharaon, à Altkirch. So, only a pharaoh has the right to put an obelisk on his grave. Nur ein Pharaone hat das Recht, einen Obelisk auf sein Grab zu setzen. Ja, so, ich will sie nicht alle filmen. Die Kopfschmerzen davon, ne. Uh, well, you know, it's real full of it. And a lot of times they put the grail, c'est le graal, they put on top of the graves. It means our blood is here and the pharaohs are here. There it is. Now, oh, we don't have these sort of things here. So a lot of grails. There's a grail, here's a grail. With the, uh, with the joining, where is it? Oh, there it is. The joining. L'Alliance. Uh, the joining. L'Alliance. Obelisk. Uh, the joining here. It looks like the Sun hieroglyph as well. Well, I mean. So the G, well there it is, Freemasonry symbol, and here is our church again, donc la, la ville, la, la petite ville de Altkirch, ein kleiner Stadt in, im Elsass, Pharaonfriedhof, na, so, Altkirch. Maybe someone can translate that for me. Peut-être qu'il y a quelqu'un qui peut le traduire. Ok, ok. All the obelisks. So it means the pharaohs are among us. And they can be about everything, like Catholic here, or, or you know, uh, Christian. And they can be Muslims. 
They can be anything. Eskimo, Chinese, black. Alors, les pharaons, ils ont parmi nous, ils ont tout le pouvoir. Et ils peuvent être tout, hein, comme catholiques ici, ou protestants, euh, même esquimaux, jeunes, musulmans, euh, tout ce que vous voulez. Also, sie können alles sein, ne? die Pharaonen. Also, hier sind es Christen, äh, Katholiken oder Protestanten. Also, sie können auch Muslime sein. Und äh, ja, die, die haben ja alle Macht ne? an sich genommen. Und äh, sie sind da. Also, das ist ohne Zweifel. Aha. Sie können Eskimo sein, Chineser, Schwarzen, alles. So, they can be about everything. Ja? Uh, and they have all the power. Don't don't be afraid of that. If, you know, well, be afraid, but they uh, they've got all the power, and they're there in the Masonic lodges and all there. Um, yeah. So here's the proof. In a very very small town here. In uh, Altkirch, the old church, or maybe they've got an older church even. So it's said in the Bible that the Pharaoh and his army disappeared in the sea, in the sea of peoples, that is, they are amongst us. Alors il est marqué dans la Bible, le Pharaon et son armée, ils ont disparu dans la mer, dans la mer des peuples, ça veut dire. Also der Pharaon und sein Heer sind ins Meer verschwunden, ins Meer der Völker, so heißt das, ne? Die sind da. Of course the sea never opened up. You silly, it's all symbolic. Well, so maybe this is in fact the Altkirch, the old, uh, the old church. Uh, obelisk, obelisk, uh, obelisk, obelisk, and the obelisk, a big one. And the obelisk is a symbol of the pharaonic, uh, of the uh, circumcision, because it was invented by the pharaohs. Well, actually, they did only with their slaves. They did. Donc, uh, c'est un symbole phallique. Et comme il est taillé, you know, c'est le symbole pour la circoncision, parce que ça vient de pharaon. Que pour des esclaves, bien sûr. Hein?